just in case anybody's interested. Okay, so you're, oh, yeah, I remember this one now. Okay, your braces. So can you scroll down? Let me see the rest of that. It's really just that. Okay, that's okay. So I think you were up to making an image. So, you want to try to do that? Sure. Okay. So, what we're trying to do is to get you to write more, to give you ideas for writing more. Okay. And sometimes having an image in mind helps you do that. So, in the upper right hand corner, do you see the little icon that looks like a game controller? Far right up. Up, up above that. This guy. Way up. <laughs> Top right corner. It looks like a game. Oh, game. there you go. That's okay. Nah, it's normal. This is called AI Mojo. And don't worry about what's coming onto the front page there. We're going to, the front tab. We're going to go to the next tab over. Do you see the, it looks like a little file cabinet box. This one? Just to the left of that. Yep. And now we're going to search for the word genre, G-E-N-R-E. Do I put the first one or the second one? Uh, we're, we're using the second one now. Figuring out something about reading and learning how to Okay. Um, so I want you to imagine an image of you getting your braces, right? Okay. So what's in the, the there are going to be three things you're going to do here. First thing is, what's in the foreground of that image? Do you know what foreground means? Like yeah, what's in the, the center? Yeah, the one that I have to do. Yeah, that's the one. That you, the first one. You yeah. Hello? But you have to, this is to help me. You're freezing. But it came back for me. Is it back for you now? Now it is. Okay, okay. Okay. So, so the, like, if I hold, look at my image. If I hold the pen up, that's in the foreground, right? And then I'm in the background. That's the background. Okay. So what's in the foreground of your image? Type that in that, that second box there. Please? Okay. Is it you? At, is it the dentist? Is it you? I mean, it's it's kind of funny, but it could you could say your teeth. <laughs> um, okay, because I was thinking that. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. What? Well, but it's the teeth of who? Who? Who are they? Who? Are, how old were you when you got these? Yeah, that was fourteen or fifteen. Okay, so instead of my teeth, say the teeth of a fourteen-year-old girl getting braces or something. Like that. Or you think about what, how you want to say. It has a check next to it. It means we did it all right. If it doesn't have a check, it means maybe I'm signing the teeth of a fourteen-year-old girl. Okay, let's try it. I, you know, we don't know. Oh, generate. No, no, not yet. Keep going down. Scroll down. There's a, a not, there are two more boxes. Now, what's in the background? Is it a dentist's office? Is it, is it when you got outside into the park? You decide what you want in the background. How do you see like the dentist chairs? Okay. And a whole bunch of other people. <laughs> That's fine. Cheers. Is that how you want to put it? Yeah, that's good, yep. And, and another word for dentist is an orthodontist, right? Okay, yep, yep. That's perfect. I don't even know if I'm spelling it right, but I did something. Uh, you can right click on that and it'll give you the race family. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, keep going down. One more. No, you went up. Go the other way. This way. <laughs> there you go. Now, in the style of, if you click on the the, the examples there, so use example. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, you can't use all these, but it'll give you ideas. So you're going to write in the style of an artist or in the style of a, se a s selfie. That might be interesting for this, right? Or in the style of a graphic novel or a movie or, you know, close up. 
So this determines like the what the image looks like in some way. But like it just looks like can I say in a style of a cartoon? Sure. Which cartoon though? Mm. Which cartoon do you like? Well, the one I like is right here, Tom and Jerry. All right. So erase everything else except for that. Or type it again either way. Yeah. Oh, no, it's glitchy. Okay. No. Okay. Okay, hit generate. What this is going to do now is so when you make an image with AI, you have to give it a really thoughtful, well-constructed paragraph. Yeah. It tells it exactly what you want it to do. So instead of like asking you to learn how to do that, uh, we're, we're kind of showing you really fast what it looks like. We're yeah. generating that paragraph. We're going to give you three examples. Hopefully it'll work. It looks like it's working. Okay. You're going to choose one and then you're going to see if it creates an image that you like. Okay. Okay, so now I have to scroll through. Yeah, so, Re why don't you read it to me if you don't mind? Um, yeah. It's okay. there, you just have to scroll. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, a 14 year old girl sits in a dentist's chair, her teeth being adjusted by an orthodontist. She looks up at the ceiling with a determined expression, knowing that this <laughs> is the turning point of her life. The scene is reminiscent. Wait, reminiscent? Yeah, uh, Mom right. and Jerry cartoons with the bright colors and exaggerated expressions. That might work, right? But read the second one. Too. Yeah. A young girl sits in a dentist chair surrounded by tools and equipment used by orthodontic work. She looks up at the camera with determination in her eyes. This woman marks, I said this woman, this moment okay. marks a turning point in her life as she right. takes control of her future. Uh, well, the image has an animated feel to it, like something out of Tom and Jerry, bright colors and exaggerated expressions about. Do I read the third yeah, one too? They're not, they're not much different, right? They're more or less. But which one do you like best? I like the second one. OK, so copy that. Um, and the first thing I'd like you to do is go over to your to your text on the left side. Go to the bottom of it. There might be times when I would be like, hold on, I got to text. Yeah, and hit enter. <laughs> and paste. There it is. So that you're not going to use that in your writing, but later you might want to say how you got this image okay you understand yeah it's going to be like a caption to your image okay now on the on the right side again over in ai mojo there's another tab it looks like a paintbrush it's the second one from the right yep paste your prompt here so paste what i just pasted there there yep and just paste again i think yep. and then hit generate Right. Now, what you need to understand is this is not like Google. It's not going out and finding an image. It's created a new image for you. <laughs> what the? That's, that's funny. Look, it looks yeah. like a Tom and Jerry. Oh, yeah. I like it. Okay. But um, hit generate again. Okay. You, that one will still be there. You can generate as many times as you need to till you find one you like. You're going to use this later as your featured image. <laughs> it looks like they're taking her wisdom teeth out. Let's <laughs> generate one more time. Okay. 
You want to try one more and then choose after that. Okay. Okay, probably this one. Why? You said why? Yeah. Because when I was getting my braces, there was a whole bunch of tools on my face, just with the mouth guard and just a whole bunch of things going everywhere. And that, that one looks like it. Yeah. Okay. What about the first one though? I like the angle on that one. No, yeah. I think that I like that one and the last one I generated. So which do you want? Well, let's use both of them. How do I use them? So um do you see the little um icon? Yeah, that one. Hit that one. And it should say yeah. add to media library. It did. Now go down to the other one, add that one to your media library also. Okay. okay. Now go over to um, right above the right above where it says a young girl and, and press enter. And yep, now um, press forward slash on your computer. What's that? <laughs> it's a, it looks like an angle. It's the question mark button. Oh, this one? Yeah. Why is it not doing nothing? There, that's good. And then see image up there, hit image. And then go to where it says uh, media library. And the two images should pop up first. Now, if, if a lot of other people were putting stuff in, you'd have to find it, but it's there. So, yeah, pull that one. Let's go select. And, okay, uh, press enter again. I did. Oh. So you see, type the forward slash again. You have to choose an image block. That's what you're doing. Yep. Yep. And just do it again. Yep. And get the other image. Okay. Okay. So you have those images, right? Mm hmm. Um, do you think you could just keep writing after this, looking at those images, trying to remember where you were, what it felt like? Yeah, I think I got it. Okay. Let me give you one more hint though. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. let me ask you, go, go back up there again. All the, all that highlighting, who did all that? Me. What were you thinking when you did that? Um, I was like... For each different paragraph, I'll do, you know, the I'm going to focus, I will start by, you know, I just basically separated it so I could write it down. And how did you know, how did you know how to highlight that? You just... Oh, I found my way. Okay. I, just, I just... No, that's, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's beautiful and perfect. You can, I want to tell other students to do that too now. But... but um, so like there, there is another way to give you feedback, but I think you have enough yeah. and, and you should just go right right now. Like, is there any, is there anything in those color things that you haven't done yet? Um, I Man. think, okay, I will also reflect on lessons. Da, da, da. I don't think I did the yellow and the orange yet. Okay. So go do those and then. Mm -hmm. And then do the photo, like write about the photographs, whatever comes to mind, just like a description of what the office looked like, how it felt, mm -hmm. that thing where you said oh, you had all those things on your face. Okay. Okay. And will I be able to speak to you again? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And so I'll look at it later. Um, yes. Okay. So uh, you can so just go right now. What? Yeah, go ahead. What, what do you want to ask? Oh, I was going to say, um, so basically when I'm done, do I share it or do I wait for the next time we speak? Um, I'll look at it and give you feedback on it. Yeah. Okay? Yes. Okay. Um, and yeah, you, you'll be there tomorrow, right? Yes. Yeah, let's talk again tomorrow. I'll be here. Okay. How do okay. I How do I do this? Uh, you can just go 